uh, last last regular season uh, opportunity to play at Century Link. It's a big deal. Um, we've had a great season here at home and we want to finish it up right. And uh, Cardinals coming in makes it a great matchup for us. Um, speaking of Cardinals. Uh, and uh, so we're you know, we're looking forward to, to working really hard at getting better at some stuff that we, we need to improve at. And, and uh, um, this is a, a continues to be a great opportunity to get better, and that's how we're, we take our focus every week, and we're doing it again this week here, even as we're getting close to the end of the season. So uh, excited about it and looking forward to it. Sorry. How is, uh, how is John Ryan? Uh, he's still in the protocol, and uh, we'll know more. Um, he's, he's with us in, in, in meetings and stuff like that and doing fine with all that, but uh, he's still got to get through it. Do you anticipate having to sign a punter? No, I don't, but we're ready. What's the latest on Demontre Moore? Um, he is going to be IR'd. Um, his foot is not recovered. Um, the other stuff we don't know uh, enough details about, um, but uh, the physical thing took over here, and, and so uh, he'll go on today. How about Michael Bennett? How is he doing? Uh, Mike's doing all right. Um, he was participating in the walkthrough today, and uh, we'll take care of him during the week to make sure he's good and, and uh, ready to play. Um, we'll know more after we get on the practice field today, in the next couple of days. You mentioned some things you want to improve upon going to the last home game, the last couple games. Anything in particular? Yeah, I want to get the clear line of scrimmage on offense. Uh, you know, we had five penalties last week, and that we don't need any of those, and, and we control all of that. So we're going to try to you know, get out of our own way here a little bit. Um, I think that was uh, a little bit of an effect, you know, from who we were playing. And uh, when we see if we can get through that and clean our game up there, it's really important for us to tackle really well. We've got a really terrific running back coming up again that we're going to play with and, uh, David Johnson, and we've got to make sure we're tackling really well. So we're going to work, work hard to make sure that our guys are in position and, and uh, fitting off one another really well. Um, so it's really the, that and just the line of scrimmage in general. We've we got the pad level is really important this time of year. And we want to see if we can keep getting – Getting a focus there, and we'll try to work that out. Is that does that become a, a point of focus because of like fatigue sets in, and so it's harder to play at the same pad level you had earlier in the year, or are you to the point now with some of the young guys where you can coach technique that it gets better at this time? You know, I think it's um, it's a combination of things that. Uh, come about by not being able to practice, you know, with pads on and, and the, the, really the fundamental part of it, you know, because of the, the different formats of the weeks that we put out. And, and I'm not blaming anybody in that one. That's just the way it is. And uh, to just to hone that skill and keep it really fresh and make sure it's right at, right at the point of the guy's brains that so they come out and they play with really good leverage and stuff. That's um, sometimes it, it can deteriorate during the course of the season. So um, we're trying to maintain that as best we can and play really good fundamental football and, and knowing that that'll help us, you know, get everything we want to get done. You said last week you thought that both KJ Wright and Bobby Wagner are having their best seasons. What are the things you think they've really done that have elevated their games? Uh, it seems that they've demonstrated great consistency during the course of the season. You know, throughout all of it, they haven't missed a trick. They've been able to be very productive. Um, they're, they're, they're playing their best because they're their most experienced and they understand the scheme the best. They just have everything working for them. And they've had the, the, you know, the benefits of good health and all, and all throughout. Um, their communication is just, you know, off the charts, you know, about what's happening in, in anticipation of plays and stuff. That's what's uh, really allowed them to improve and, and do, uh, you know, continue to get better. But uh, I think really the consistency has been just extraordinary. When you look back on the previous game against Arizona, what stood out about the struggles on offense? Um, well, we, they're, they're tough up front. They do a nice job mixing their coverages, the stuff that we – you know that we tried to do to change our, our protections and things. You know we, you know we weren't as clean as we like to be. Um, we didn't run the ball as well as we wanted to. You know there was just wasn't just not a good. They, it, it was the same on both sides of the ball. Kind of you know we both struggled throughout the game. Uh, we we had uh, a number of negative plays in that game, which set us behind the sticks a lot. We had some real long yard situations, which were just terrible to try and function on a road like that. Um, so it was a combination of things. Um, so a really hard fought, tough physical, mentally challenging game that well, I like that we made, it. We, we have that in our background, we made it to a tie, we know what that's like and we don't have to ever do that again. Uh, but uh, I think we gained some out of that and got better, you know, after that. That was kind of the first extended uh, look 
at George Fanta at left tackle there. How, how much has he grown from that point? He's done remarkably better. He really has. He's, he has so much more understanding of, of what's going on, and his communication is much better. His confidence is better. Um, which, which only makes sense. He's played more. He's had some. You know, he, he has taken a step back at times. You know, with with situations, new things that happen continue to happen for the first time. He doesn't always see them properly, and and that's there's nothing much we can do about it. You know, he should have seen that as a sophomore in college or something like that. You know, so um, we just have to grow with him. But he's done a remarkable job. I think he's he's going to be a really good player going down the road. Do you feel the you guys run games as respected by defenses as it has been in years past? I don't think it's like it's been in the past. You know, we, we had a pretty good. Run here uh, for the last five weeks we were going pretty good and, and uh, last last week was hard um, but I don't I don't think we've turned anybody on you know I feel like we're still working at it how much does that affect the passing game it does some just, some you know the in teams more willing to take their shots rushing the passer um, figuring they can get by in the running game a little bit there's some of that is there any overarching reason you can think of as to why the offensive consistency hasn't been able to come along like you told to this point um, you know I, once we turn the corner at the halfway point, you know, we really don't have any reason to, to, to not feel like we're going to get better and, and do better. Um, you know, it was early in the year, the first half of the season, we were just surviving it, you know. And so um, a little bit disappointing that we've had a couple setback weeks, you know, because we, we, we have improved and we've done some things better, you know. I think we've gone last three weeks and been right around 50% on third down, which is where we want to be and, and where we're shooting for. So there's some, some things that, are, that, are, uh, that have improved, but... Um, uh, you know, we, we just have to keep working at it. And I still feel like it's there, and, and we still have time to get going. I think um, just the connection with, with what's going on up front and with Thomas playing and with Russell being able to run, all of those factors are the ones that we're counting on to, to give us something. And, and really, I'm, I'm not complaining because in the last four of the last five weeks, we've, we've been productive. Um, this past game kind of hangs over on us a little bit. But uh, I think we got a chance to, to be in, in pretty good shape here to, to round out the whole formula of how we like to win, you know, and play. Um, you know, heading, heading down to the end of the schedule here. More going on IR opens up a roster spot. Can you do have that not ready yet, to announce? Not yet. Not yet. Is there a challenge tougher than maybe asking a, an undrafted rookie to come in and play left tackle? In no, I, I, no, that's why it's been such a remarkable story, you know. Um, I don't know. You guys would know better if anybody's ever done something like that before. But um, this is a very unusual uh, challenge that we've taken on as coaches. And, and of course, George is more than willing to go through. But um, it's been an enormous challenge. And, and uh, it's just a credit to what who George is as a competitor, because he didn't have any background. And uh, he, he is a terrific athlete. Um, his toughness is there, and then his connection with Cabe's and, and you know the other the, the offensive line coaches, you know, to connect and figure it out, and and uh, it's just been pretty remarkable. There's no other way to look at it. If someone had told you in August or July that you'd be playing with a undrafted <laughs> rookie at left tackle, yeah, I would not have thought that would happen. I wouldn't have thought that would have been possible. Um, Particularly before we saw him, you know, and, and once we once we saw him on the field a little, a little bit, we thought, well, gosh, there's really the potential, the physical makeup is there. But you would still never think that a guy could pull it off, and and uh, so it's just a very special kid and special occurrence. With a couple of Richards, with Richards to uh, sideline kind of blowups. Cam Chancellor was kind of the guy that was like right in his ear and right in his face right away. What allows Cam to be able to? kind of handle those situations? I know guys in the locker room have talked that he kind of has that mediator role sometimes. In, in the yeah, well, Cam has just been recognized as one of the real you know, pillars, you know, in this program. And he has always, since, you know, second year or so, third year for sure, um, has just been that guy. And um, he's earned that. Uh, it's the kind of thing you can't do much about. He's just got it, you know. And, and so everybody is willing to, to listen to him and, and, and uh, sometimes better than others, but um, the relationships are deep, you know, and, and he, he's poured himself into them with the guys, and so they, they feel like they can communicate with him. I know he and Sherm are about as close as two players could be. They've been through it so much together, and they've grown up together, and um, they have such tremendous respect for one another, that, you know, that they can probably go anywhere with their conversation and their concerns and stuff and, and, uh, and help one another. Uh, so, I mean, Cam's just a remarkable player, great kid. You mentioned cleaning up the offensive line, and besides penalties, uh, are you surprised that you're still dealing with that this late in the season? Um, well, this is this was a special occurrence. We've been okay, you know, 
pretty much until this last week. I think this we had there was a special effect that took place, and uh, it was a bunch of guys running off the football from that live in L.A. <laughs> that, that caused you know our attention and it changed our focus more than we would like to say. You know, we'd like to think that wouldn't happen, but uh, it hasn't been an ongoing thing. I just want to make sure it goes gets put to rest. You know, right now. You've had some pretty stiff competition inside the division. I think that's me. What's that? competition inside the division the last few years, and this year's a little bit different. You hit on that uh, a little bit after the game on Thursday, but how has that, has it affected in any way just sort of the, I don't know, not the preparation, but just sort of the field, how the season is going, when you guys are having to work through different issues and develop guys? Whether it's that's been different. We've been out ahead the whole time, you know, and, and uh, which I like. We've had to deal with that, you know, and our guys have done fine. We've done done a good job of handling that. I'd like to see us finish really well. I like, I like the way the schedule comes out, you know, the schedule makers, uh, you know, kind of turn the focus to playing your division teams near the end of the schedule. I think that's a good part of the schedule um, as it works out because, you know, sometimes there's a lot of drama with that. Um, but I don't, I don't think it's been any different other than the challenge of being ahead and being three games up and, and trying to hold on to that and not, you know, get complacent. I don't think our guys have done that at all. We saw Tyler Lockett kind of have a breakout game last Thursday. Is he 100 percent back healthy now? Sure. Yeah, he has been for a few weeks now and probably a month. You know, he's been fine. Um, so it's great that you can see how fast he is and how effective he is. And he's a terrific football player. And uh, it was a really, um, you know, he accepted the opportunity and the challenge. I haven't played great last week. It was good. You mentioned how this has been kind of a strange path to the first place in the NFC West. Do you feel like you have a feel for the identity of this team right now? Or is this more of a learning process in week 16 than you might have had in other years? Um, we've been through a lot together, you know, and, and we've endured a lot already. And, uh, and we've, we've held... We've held our, our lead in, in good fashion, you know, as well. We didn't extend it as much as we'd like to here. We missed a couple opportunities. But uh, I think we know this team quite well. And, and uh, the leadership is really solid in the, the, the direction that we follow. And uh, to get to these challenges, I think, is really clear. I don't have any, any problem telling you, you know, that we know where we're going and what we're trying to get done here. Um, we can keep improving, though. We're, you know, it's not, you never finished product, but there's more areas to improve maybe than there have been in other years at this time when we have a nice team. You know, I think we have more stuff to work on, and, and uh, which is good. You know, we need to keep keep battling. Is there any update on CJ Procise? <laughs> uh, the update that I have for you is, is is pretty solid. He's doing he's doing well, and and we're getting some good feedback. He's doing a lot of a lot of movement stuff now. His rehab is getting real serious now. Um, he's four weeks in, I think. Is that, is that right? Four weeks into it. So uh, a couple weeks from now, um, there's a chance that he's he's in pretty good shape. But he's got to work really hard these next two weeks to get back in condition because there's a a good part of this like the first three weeks he couldn't run, you know. So he he's having to catch up now. So we'll see what happens. We're, we're hopeful. That's why we've you know we've kept him on and all that. And, uh, so, let's we'll see what happens. Oh, Danny, you haven't been here long, so you, you have a couple of questions you want to catch up on? Uh, I'll, I'll review the tape later. Okay, thanks. <laughs> <Yeah, I> appreciate it. <laughs> uh, hey, Pete, Thomas, thoughts? Colby. Yes? Well, thank you. The ladies first start. Uh, just your thoughts on uh, the Gr Gus Bradley situation and maybe if there's any chances that you bring him on as any sort of consultant or... Um, yeah, I feel you know feel bad for Gus. He's I'm, I, just a, it's hard to imagine how hard he's worked you know throughout these these last few years to try to you know put it together and get it done. Um, comes to a screeching halt for him, and uh, we love Gus you know so we're, I'm, we're in great support of him whenever you know he would he'd be an a, a, an asset to any staff you know where he'd go and you know for, certainly I've already communicated with him and all that. Oh, you have communicated with him. Yes. Earl Thomas was on the NFL Network today saying he's still contemplating retirement. And I'm wondering, do you think he's more serious about that than when he first... I didn't hear it. I'd love to have heard what he said, uh, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know that. Have you, have you had a chance to talk to him? Yeah, he was here a few days ago. We visited. Um, he's doing fine, getting better, more upbeat than he was, you know, when he first happened and all that. He's got a lot of time to figure it out. I'm not worried about it. What, what is the process like when guys have season-ending injuries? I know Jimmy said that a lot of places guys don't spend the time here that they do elsewhere. It, it depends on the situation with the guy. The really, those are all individually dealt with and, and what the nature of the rehab is and what kind of access they have if they can go home. It just depends on the situation. We've done it differently with different guys. We saw both Bradley Sal and uh, Gary Gilliam get some time <laughs> right tackle against the Rams. So what is the plan for that position? Still competing. Still competing. What did you see from Gary in the game? Uh, he jumped in, did all right. He, he uh, played pretty strong in a couple of plays, had a couple of issues, but he but he he played well for being out for a couple of weeks. Dylan, 
one is really how to, no one really sure how to interpret uh, the tie last time you guys played Arizona, people were kind of ambivalent about it. But now it, it could be the reason between you getting a buy and not getting one. Have you, do you think about that at all and just how you guys were able to hang tough and pull out that tie? And, well, and, and we should have won the game. We had, were kicking right at the end of the game to win it, you know, and, and we, we should have walked out of there with a win. We didn't get that done. Um, but when looking back at it, and, and we really we took some real positives out of it because it was such a battle, and there was so much tension throughout the game in all areas. Uh, defense played extraordinary forever, and as their, theirs did as well. Um, so you know, the way it worked out now, you know, it is interesting how it's playing in, and, and fascinating that there's another team. You know, it happened to other teams too. So um, we'll see what happens. You know, we'll we'll know more when it's all over. But right now, it's just one game, and try to get it and see what happens next week. Anything else? Thank you. Got it.